Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Rafiq Wayani, and I will be your guide here to uh, walking you through the VMware infrastructure and VMware virtualization. I've been involved in technology for well over two decades, and I've seen a lot of trends come and go. None so powerful and so uh, creative and inventive as virtualization. When I began with computers, actually, when I began in technology, um, well, PCs were new. I hate to say that. PCs were new. Technology was actually gaining shape, and really, we were not in a technological universe. You know, utilizing DOS machines and uh, CPM. Have you guys familiar with CPM? You know, databases were new. PCs were thought of as toys. So I've seen a lot of trends come and go. I've been involved in the entire Microsoft revolution from the time Microsoft came into play and, you know, of course, won the hearts of many, right, and became many's enemies right now. But there's nothing like virtualization. And I've been involved in virtualization for the past five years. Since actually, effectively, for five years, I've, been, I've heard about it and known about it for seven or eight years. So virtualization has come very, very far. And trust me if I, when I tell you this, there's a major shift that has taken place and has taken place from physical to virtual. So virtualization is only going to increase and get better. It's going to, it is changing the landscape of the technological environment. Uh, keep in mind that you want to keep up with the trends and keep up with what's happening in the information technology industry. I've tried to do that myself as much as possible, although the race is getting more and more difficult to keep up with. Isn't that true? Maybe you have seen this and maybe you haven't. I do development in the .NET world. I do development in the Java world. I do SQL Server stuff, Exchange stuff, SharePoint stuff, Oracle stuff, even Novell stuff, Linux stuff. I manage and maintain many things. I have a very vast range of clients that I work with around the country and around the world. And all of them today, many of the large ones today, are utilizing virtualization in some way, shape, or form. Even the small ones and the medium-sized ones are utilizing virtualization in some way, shape, or form. I'm very glad you're here. I'm very glad to be your guide to provide you with virtualization information and with VMware. Specifically in this particular course, we're going to be discussing VMware 3.5. Uh, so I'm, going to, I'm very glad to, ha to have you, uh, to provide information to you about your first entry into virtualization world. I'm very, very excited. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Hey guys, how are you? I'm very excited that you're here and you're going to be learning about virtualization from a great tool. I'm a great person as well. <laughs> I'm really glad you're here. We're going to be talking about VMware and I'm going to be demonstrating VMware and its capabilities to you. In this particular course, we're utilizing VMware ESX Server 3.5 and Virtual Center Server 2.5. We're going to be using Dell servers, specifically Dell Power Edge 1950 servers, for, for those of you that want to know. Dell Power Edge 1950 servers with 4 gigs of RAM, dual quad-core processors, and two 73 gig SCSI drives installed on them. Okay, so these are, this is the requirements, this is the, the tool, the hardware that we're utilizing to accomplish uh, this particular course. And in this course, we're going to be talking about, we're going to start out by introducing you to what virtualization is, what VMware is, and how VMware works, and what are the capabilities of VMware. We then move on to the installation of VMware ESX Server, and I'm going to walk you through the installation and show you everything that is required to make the installation work. Next, we're going to be discussing networking as it relates to the virtual machine and as it relates to the ESX servers themselves. We're going to move on after the networking piece. We're going to move on to uh, talking about storage. And I'm going to discuss storage with you, specifically SAN, NAS, or NFS storage, and, and local storage as well. And how all of that fits into the picture inside of the virtual machine's infrastructure and inside of the ESX server's infrastructure. We then talk about Virtual Center, and I'm going to be discussing the features and the benefits and the rich features of Virtual Center Server. Specifically, in this particular case, we're talking about Virtual Center Server 2.5. We're going to talk about its interaction with Active Directory and its interaction with the ESX server and its capability of managing multiple ESX servers in a single location and what the Virtual Center Server database is and how it works and the installation of the Virtual Center Server and its use. We then move on to virtual machines, and we're going to discuss what virtual machines are and exactly how virtual machines work, how they're installed, how they are created, how you can interact with them, how you can set them up so that the virtual machines can be utilized by your, um, by your users, and what templates are and how templates work. And we're going to discuss all these things. We're going to discuss code migration in this particular instance. And I'm going to create virtual machines in front of you from scratch many times over. And I'm going to demonstrate what virtual machines are and exactly what files make up a virtual machine, what files make up a template, how you can clone. So you'll see how that works. We then move on to management of resources. And we're going to discuss security in this particular area. 
They're going to talk about what security is inside of Virtual Center Server, inside of ESX Server, what security is available, how security works, and how security can be implemented inside of the ESX Server and inside of Virtual Center Server. Why is Linux security used in one place and why is Windows security used in another place? We're going to then move on to controlling access to resources. And in here, we're going to discuss shares, uh, we're going to discuss shares, uh, limits, and we're going to discuss reservations. And what shares are, what limits are, what reservations are. We also discuss DRS clusters. We discuss resource pools. And we demonstrate resource pools, shares, reservations, and limits to you in the, in the demonstration that I show you. Next, we move on to providing information about monitoring and, and setting alarms of your ESX server. And you can see how ESX servers can be monitored with a great level of ease with the tools provided. And you'll be able to see how ESX servers are monitored, how virtual center is monitored, how you can monitor multiple ESX servers no matter where they're located, and how you can set up alarms to show you and provide you with a world of information. Next, we move on to showing you about HA and the great capabilities of high availability and exactly how high availability works. Right? In earlier modules, we, have, we would have shown you vMotion, we would have shown you DRS, and we will demonstrate HA and HA capabilities. So you see how high availability works and what are the, are the requirements of high availability. We close out this particular course by showing you how to troubleshoot and how to properly maintain your ESX server, your virtual center environment. I'm very, very excited. I hope you can see this. I'm very excited to deliver the course to you. I'm very glad you're here. I hope you're going to learn a lot from this. I know you'll be as excited as I am. Welcome.